We ready? Yeah, we're rolling. And action. Hey guys, so today we're going to give you a tour of Trevor's game room because we're gonna redo it. And so we thought we'd show you it in all of its glory right now. And then, yeah, you can watch the process of us completely redoing it. Are you excited? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, show us around. So, some of you might know that I play a lot of video games, and the most important thing about playing video games is having an awesome room to do it in. So, we're gonna show you the room of what it looks like before, and then we'll show you what it looks like after in the end. So this is the game room. It is a little messy right now because going through a few things on the floor, as you can see, this usually isn't here, but it is kind of always this messy. So you're not really losing on that much. First of all, we have Danielle's desk, which she doesn't really use. All she uses is the printer, basically. So it's kind of become my desk. I kind of just throw stuff on it. We have the awesome shelves that have my memorabilia, including Halo helmet, stuff from the Kansas City game, and games. Over here we have Danielle's chair that she never sets in. Then we have my chair, which I always set in. The gaming setup right now is, in a me it is a mess. We only have one table, which is supported by four legs. Four legs. Right now we have the mini fridge underneath the table, but I don't like how tall the table is, so when we put in the new table, zzz, yes, breaking news, we're putting in two tables. It is not going to have the mini fridge underneath it, it will have it somewhere else, which we've already determined, but you don't get to know that yet. Starting on the right side, we have computer one. This is my main computer. This is what I use for all my gaming, all of that stuff, all the editing comes from this computer, and then underneath it. We have another computer that basically runs in the background to so I can watch my stream and know like if the stream goes down because unfortunately sometimes it goes down and I look over and I'm like great it went down. Then we got the internet up here next to other memorabilia. We got a hard drive for my Xbox which my Xbox is right here. Then right in here is my capture cards right now only one of them works. So the other one I will either be getting rid of or trying to fix it. I'm not exactly sure. It just cut out in the middle of the stream and I have, didn't want to mess around with it. So I just went to my other one. So luckily I had two. Underneath that is going to be a play PlayStation 4. Excuse me, Grizzle. Is, is that your window? Would, here, Grizzle. Here. Next to PlayStation 4, we have controllers, which... Is a complete mess and sometimes they fall backwards and then I have to dig for them so hopefully the new one which it will will have a better way of putting controllers so they're not just laying around guy like this one is just laying here and you know that's because that's the only place that I have place for right now underneath that is a whole bunch of storage aka a bunch of batteries also a USB hub that holds three plugins and four USBs, most of which are actually being used. Stuff like my little fan here, not really using it lately because it's cold out, so I don't really need the fan, but the fan is nice in the summer and it also gets very hot in this room because of all of the electronics. Underneath the fan is my Xbox 360. It is only up here for one game and one game only and that's NCAA football. I will probably be playing NCAA basketball soon, so that I have to play on the 360 as well because they're not backwards compatible because they're not making the games anymore. And then right here, I have three headsets. So I have my computer headset, which is plugged into my big computer, my big white computer over here. This is the headset for this. Next headset is my Xbox One headset, which is stuck. So that goes to my Xbox, and then this one is Danielle's headset, and this goes to the other computer. Sometimes I use it to test how the sound is on my stream, because what I hear on my end might not be the same as what other people are hearing on their end, so I use that to test sometimes. So that's all in this general 
section, which is about, what, a fourth of the desk? When we get the new desks, I will have the Xbox One, I will have the PlayStation, and the 360 will kind of, the PlayStation and the 360 will go back and forth because the only reason I use PlayStation is for MLB. So when I'm not playing MLB videos, the 360 will be in its place. Vice versa, when I'm doing MLB videos, the 360 will be in storage somewhere. Meanwhile. Should go show a grizzle in a box. What are you doing? Okay, bye. Next operation over here is my four monitors, two of which are these two. The bottom two are being used on um, my on my main PC right now. So those are what I use to stream. I'll play games on this. I will have um, streaming stuff up on this so that I can see when people chat and stuff like that. This one is used to view my stream. So that's what this monitor is used for. And this lucky monitor is only used on Sundays when I'm watching football and fantasy and gambling stuff. All of that is only used on Sundays. We have a different layout of how things are going to look on the new desks. So I'm excited about that. They're not going to be stacked like this. They're going to be better used and utilized differently. Stream Deck, still love it. Still use it. It's amazing. Great purchase. The little itty bitty stereo, whatever they're called. Um, what are these called? Speakers? Speakers, yes. The little speakers. I don't know if I'm keeping them yet or not. The microphone. It's probably going to stay on the stand. Not 100% sure yet on if I'm going to put it back on the arm or not. The arm was nice, but it. I don't know. They, they both have their uses, and we'll wait and see how the layout ends up being if I keep it on the little stand or if I put it back up on the arm. Keyboard, trackpad, all that stuff, mouses, mice, whatever you want to call them, those will be back. I'll probably end up having two different layouts for it, so I won't have two mice like this back to back anymore. Same thing with the keypads, won't have the keypads like that. They will be better, they will look better. Webcam, which is the new webcam, is amazing. I love it. Wide area of view, wide angle view. Amazing. Again, this is not staying underneath the desk, so this will leave. All the papers, all this stuff will be gone. Hopefully, you won't see a single cord, or if you do, it will be a tiny itty bitty cord all around, so. Definitely cleaning up the cords and all that. Gonna make it easier to get to my big computer because that's an issue now. I can't really get to it without tearing it all apart and making more messes for myself to clean up. So over here, right now this is our pop storage-ish, kind of. And right now these cords are on the ground. They're usually in this, but cleaning this out, gonna make it look nice so that my wife wants to come in here and doesn't hate me anymore for opening a closet. I don't hate you. It just stresses me out when it's dirty. <laughs> so basically what we have in the closet is just a bunch of stuff. We got boxes. We got games to play. We have art in here. Pretty much everything you could possibly throw in here is thrown in here. And I'm going to clean it out. The stuff that I need and can use will be put in storage. The other stuff will be garage sale. Garage sale, probably. Or trash. Well, well garage sale. Because it's worth money. Yeah. So this is the grand tour of the destruction zone before it gets completely redone. Literally nothing will be back in the same place it is now. So this will be the last time you see it like this. 
I think destruction zone is the perfect terminology for this room. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're updating it is first off because you've wanted to for a long time. Mm -hmm. But secondly, because I can't be in here. It gives me anxiety. It stresses me out because nothing has a place and it's so disorganized and an absolute disaster. Mm -hmm. So... We're cleaning it out so I don't feel as stressed when I walk into this room and want to shut the door all the time. And because you've always wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted things to be cleaner, but never really made it a priority. I've kind of just made sure that I have everything I need yeah. without it being in their correct place. We've been vlogging for how many years? And this entire time, he continues to look at himself, not the camera. <laughs> so sorry about that. How did it come about that we were going to redo this room? I think we were just talking about it, and I was like, okay, babe, let's do it. Like, and, a lot, and some of it is because the table I'm using is not heavy-duty enough for my heavy all stand. All of the things that you have on it. Right. Just my everything in general. And especially the four monitors were way too heavy, so I actually had to take two of the monitors off the arm. But it's still heavy enough to where it's warping the wood, and yeah, it, I don't want it to fall over and break things. and yeah. It's just too much weight for one table to handle. We've talked about updating this room a lot, and we'll eventually redo the basement and put an entire game room theater area in the basement. But for now, we just need to have this room be nice. And all of the things that we're purchasing is because we intend to use that if we ever do redo the basement. Yes, so. everything's everything's laid out in this room will be put into the basement so it's kind of laid out in the basement yeah. as well we're gonna it's not like once we redo the basement we're gonna get all brand new things we plan on every single thing being in the new room downstairs so we kind of built it for many years in the future so we can use it mm -hmm. over and over again oh and if you haven't viewed my gaming channel and you want to the link will be down below okay guys we will see you in the next video when we're hopefully buying more stuff and redoing this room. We'll see you guys then. Bye!